Hello everyone, happy Monday. Today is Monday, March 16th, 2009, and we continue on uh, with our calendar of the day uh, models uh, with a snake today. So uh, get your paper together and we'll get started. <laughs> Now the next series of folds that we're going to do, or the first series of folds that we're going to do, are designed to cut our paper really in eighths. And the way that we're going to do that is to start out first with the color side of your paper facing up. And fold your paper in half. On the diagonals. Like so. All right, now we're going to use those first two diagonal folds to uh, start our um, cutting our paper in eighths. And the first thing that you're going to do is to fold to the center where your two diagonal folds crossed, like so. And then make this a nice crisp crease. Then open it up and then what you're going to do is to fold down to that crease that you just made. Bring the point to the crease that you just created in your paper. Use that as your mark and then make a really crisp crease up here and repeat the same with the bottom side. So bring this flap up now to the line of the first crease that you made and make this one nice and crisp. And finally, take the very tip of the point here and bring it down to that line. And do the same on the bottom. And once you've done that, you will have successfully uh, cut your paper into eight um, sections and divided it nice and equally. All right, now that you've had your paper uh, split into eighths, what you're going to do is to fold this little tip here to the first line so that you're folding that little this corner area in half basically. So you're folding it to the first line and then you're going to fold backwards against that line and then forward down to the next line. So again you fold the first section that you have, the first little section that you have in half using the tip then you fold backward, backwards on that first line, and then forward again to the second line. So that you end up with this uh, sawtooth kind of look. And once you do that on this, uh, on the top side, you're going to do the same thing down here, up backwards and back forward. So when you're done it's like this. And then the next uh, steps basically are going to be to accordion pleat this all the way down in both directions until you meet in the center. Alright so you're at this point here and you're just going to accordion pleat so oops back and then forward to the to the line that you have backwards and then in half and then forward to that center line and at that point you'll be at the center so flip it around and continue now from the other side back forward to the line backwards forward to the line and when you're done then you will meet in the center and your piece will look like this 
All right, so let's turn this into a snake now. Uh, here we are, and we've accordion pleated up to this point. And now what you want to do is count in from the end three white spaces. And in the middle of the third white triangle, you're going to fold it backwards straight across. And that's a, a mountain fold here. And then along that same, uh, within that same triangle, that same white triangle, you're now going to do two uh, diagonal folds. And you're cutting this white section right in half here. And you're going to fold ac across. You can see how it's how it's folding on the on that diagonal and directly down in a 45 degree angle so that you cut across that white and then do it in the other direction up so when you're done you will have gone across on a mountain fold and then on the diagonal in the other direction, which is what's what are called valley. And then what you can do is fold this now in half and put it so that the the orange uh, triangles are pointing down hold it that way. And now where you've just made those folds, you're going to do, and remember this is called an outside reverse, you're going to fold it up and it's going to automatically go because that's how you just made those folds, the directions that you just made the folds. So you're going to fold it up like this and then just close over like that. So you'll have bent it straight up. Then at each uh, white triangle, just fold back and forth again, kind of like accordion-like to put some pleats in here. Fold it all the way up, pull it back out. And last but not least, give yourself a little guideline along the top here and do it in both directions so that again you can take this piece and flip it up and over like that to create the head of your snake. And there you have it. All right, and that's it. That's our snake. I hope you could follow that one. It, it was hard to do it in, in small increments uh, because everything was so much the same when you're doing that kind of accordion pleating. But as long as you get that, uh, that fold here in the neck area and you get the little reverse fold here, on the top, you should be good to go. Now tomorrow we're going to be working on, um, it's called a shell decoration and it's also very intricate like this with lots of little folds. So hopefully it will be something that I'll be able to demonstrate. I'll find out um, as I go through it. So uh, that type of a thing is a little bit more difficult to show, uh, to show you this way. So hopefully you were able to follow along though. And I look forward to working on tomorrow's with you. In the meantime, enjoy the rest of your Monday, and I will see you back here again soon. Take it easy. Bye.